On the exercise front, there are, uh, we should start with Schroth exercises. Uh, we can say the word Schroth or Schroth uh, is probably a more common English pronunciation, but it comes from the German, which I think is Schroth, uh, and uh, it started with it was Katharina Schroth, was the uh, founder of the Schroth Method, and then it was carried on by her daughter Krista, which is now carried on by Krista's son, Dr. Hans Rudolf Weiss. And Schroth is the most tried and tested scoliosis exercise method in existence. It goes back a hundred years. It began back in the days of the polio-driven scoliosis cases, where children were, you know, pre-polio polio vaccine. Uh, we had polio cases. We also had um, just the usual type of case where it was a mystery. The child didn't have any sickness or known disease, yet they were getting a severely deforming curve. This was developed pre-surgery for scoliosis before the Harrington rods were invented, and this was the only treatment option. Uh, so what Krista Schroth did that was really revolutionary was she realized that there was a rotational component to it which could be corrected using one's own breathing and using body posturing and some very good thought and practice was put into how to self-correct one's body using their own muscles and their own breathing. It's used around the world. It's good, it's effective for helping to direct the spine back towards straight. Uh, it, but saying it's effective, be careful to not hear I'm saying it's effective for controlling a growing scoliosis. A brace will still always be needed uh, even if using the Schroth corrective exercises. And there is of course uh, with the upside of Schroth that it comes with a hundred years experience and very good science and thought behind it. The downside is it's very complicated. Uh, it, would, it mandates for a patient to use it correctly to be able to perform complex self-corrective movements that are in three dimension, that involve multiple segments of the body, and teaching this to young growing adolescents and expecting them to do it at home is met with great challenge. When Krista Schroth was doing this back 100 years ago, the kids weren't even doing it at home. They were coming into the clinic. They were living there for three months, and they were doing it all in-house uh, or, or outdoors with groups and uh, under the watch of a therapist. And, and Schroth almost requires the watch of a therapist for growing adolescents to be able to use it correctly. And it was because of that that uh, I think, I, and I hope, hopefully I'm not wrong, hopefully I'm not insulting Dr. Weiss's work because I think very highly of it. Um, I think Dr. Weiss was attempting to address this problem of complexity by developing a system that simplified it and made it a little easier to incorporate into activities of daily living. Um, and I think Dr. Weiss's work is spectacular in that regards. We, we uh, borrow a lot from their ideas. But to summarize Schroth, uh, it's, it's a good self-corrective exercise. It does help the body go back to a straighter alignment. Uh, it doesn't make it stay there. You still need a brace to do that. It's complicated, so you're going to need to do it under the watchful eye of a clinician, and it's going to require a large amount of training time, a large amount of practice, and a lot of review with the clinician to make sure you're doing it correctly. But there you have it, Schroth, uh, one of the most tried and true methods for scoliosis self-correction. Mm -hmm.